Hi, I'm Bill Goody Coons, the film critic for the Arizona Republic, AZ Central, and the USA Today Network. A new movie's coming out on Friday, December 15th, called Star Wars, The Last Jedi. Perhaps you've heard of it. It's been some in the papers. If somehow you haven't, or you didn't know that, or you're not familiar with the Star Wars story, I'm here to help. To help drag you out from under the rock you've been living under for the past 40 years. So here in 60 seconds is a brief history of Star Wars, which, given the time constraints compared to the number of movies, features a discipline George Lucas should envy. Ready? Go. A long time ago in a galaxy far, far away, etc., a movie came out called Star Wars, only now it's called Star Wars A New Hope, and you will be shunned at Comic-Con for calling it anything else. Anyway, the evilest of evil bad guys, Darth Vader, captures rebel leader Princess Leia. Also, he turns out to be her father. Maybe now would be a good time to say, spoiler alert. Han Solo and Luke Skywalker come to her rescue, the rebels blow up the Death Star, and then there's a sequel, the best of all of them, The Empire Strikes Back, where we learn that Darth Vader is Luke's father as he chops off his son's arm and stop the clock for a second. This is one of the biggest twists in the history of movies, and I learned about it from a friend exiting the theater from an earlier show while I was waiting for my turn. He yelled it out across the waiting crowd. So there's that. It deserves its own gasp. <gasps> All right, back to the clock. The Return of the Jedi is the one with Jabba the Hutt and Leah in the gold bikini and the stupid looking teddy bear creatures. Oh yeah, Darth Vader turns good and kills the Emperor and dies and saves the universe, so he's got that going for him. Then there were the prequels that everybody hated and ignores, so will we. Which brings us to The Force Awakens, which was great mostly because it was a kind of remake of Star Wars, sorry, A New Hope. It's 30 years later and Luke is missing and Han and Leia's whiny bad boy son Kylo Ren is romping around the universe. Rey, a young woman on a desert planet, perhaps you've heard this before, learns she has the Force. Kylo Ren kills Han Solo, Harrison Ford is happy, fans are sad and happy, and next up is The Last Jedi, and you are all caught up.